Eat the bread, kitty kitty. Our cat is eating bread. Well, he's more like spitting on it. He's kind of rubbing on it. Hashtag let your cats rub on your bread. Oh, look, he's rubbing on the computer now. Whoa, does that have a sound? That's like so cool. That's like ASMR cat. Like, what if cats had an ASMR channel? Which reminds me. Today's video is sponsored by French bread. Old, dependable, reliable French bread. Is it actually French? Do we? We'll never know. Okay, guys. So, welcome back. And today is Elizabeth. Elizabeth Cole. Best friend to Felicity. She was released after Nelly. So, as always, let's begin with her name. Elizabeth Cole. Personally, I like the name Elizabeth. I always have. I, I've, I've always been fond of anyone with that name. No, it's just because you're lying through your teeth. You're not letting the viewers know how incredibly biased you are. What do you mean? Your middle name is Elizabeth. That has nothing to do with it. Yes, it absolutely does. But in general, I like that name. I like the name Elizabeth, just flat out. Like, Cole, though, like, it, was, it just doesn't seem like a last name. I don't know, it just sounds like, stupid. Oh, like, Elizabeth, Elizabeth Cole. Cole. Like, my colon. Elizabeth Colon would have been better. Colon? Colon? Oh, I've never co been able oh to say that. Colon, like Edward Colon. Colon? How do you say it? Colon. I'll, 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 col I'll put a clip here. Col Colon. Colon. I'm Edward Colon. Edward Colon. Edward Colon. Edward Colon. Whoa, you hear yeah. that, motorcycle guy. You know, I'm tight, spider monkey. Okay, but in general, my feelings on this name, I like it. Compared to a lot of the other names of these friends, too, like, in general, I think she's on the topper, top, the upper, <laughs> the upper level of these. On the map, I don't, about. of this, just because we have, we're ranking within the, these boundaries that are the friends. Look at my sock. I knitted an entire sock today. What have you been doing with your life? Nothing. I finished a whole pair in three days. Losers. I'm kidding. If you did, like, I don't know. Even if you just ate a meal today, I'm proud of you. Uh, if you didn't, I'm still proud of you. But yeah, like I was saying, of these names, I'm not fond of too many of them. Um, and like ranking level, if she's gonna be the highest, I'm just I'm gonna give her an eight on name. Do you agree? No. No. But what, what would you give her? Seven point five. Okay, she gets a 7.5 for Elizabeth Cole. It's a little basic. Yeah, basic average girl. My sock pattern from the socks I knitted whoa, were called I'm So Basic. That's so cool. Yeah. All right, guys, next, the holy appearance. So, Ew! Uh, <laughs> this is what Elizabeth looks like. Now, of the dolls with the... Nelly was the first doll that was completely and utterly white and, like, trying to have, like, light hair and, like, have the hostess be animal. I just don't think that it works, in my opinion. It's just not a look I'm fond of. Of the ones that have it, though, for, like, the first ones, I think she, in my opinion, is one of the only dolls that I can see pulling it no. off occasionally. You're wrong. One thing to note is that she was the first doll to be released with earrings, so that's cool removable earrings that is because like they, they used to be like stuck on you're wrong she's ugly i don't think she's ugly i i mean nelly had the mold and we gave her a pretty high ranking i know we did not so like on that scale what did nelly i don't i don't remember what nelly got but i'm gonna give her a six what do you think I think that in today's society, we already judge people enough, and we already <laughs> <laughs> we already rank people enough. And I think that if Elizabeth were still alive today, because as we all know, she'd be very much dead if she was actually born and alive. She would sing this song. Wait. <laughs> Oh, 
I don't know why I could have just inserted that. <laughs> <laughs> that's what Elizabeth would say. That, that's um, what she actually told us. But anyway, we're going to say six. Yeah. Okay. So she came with her. Okay. So wait, let's talk. Not pulling back a perfect rhyme. Elizabeth took off faster than Paul Revere. Hey, you skip the conversation when your friend is a British hater. <laughs> okay, guys, so the next thing is her collection, and on my, in my opinion, I know Elizabeth's collection very well, and I know that it is one of the holiest there is. Here and, is oh, her... that's why I was singing that, because right where Elizabeth stood was holy ground. Exactly. Darling, it was good, never looking I love your vibrato. Down. She has really pretty vibrato right when she sings. There where we stand was a holy ground. <laughs> Such beautiful vibrato. Thank you. So, guys, we have Elizabeth's meat outfit, which, in my opinion, is one of the best meat outfits there is. No, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you who she looks like. Do on a, on kind of one to three. One, one two, two, three. three. Annalise. Annalise. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm just like you. <laughs> You're just like me. Yeah, I'm a girl like you. We just, we both love her. Meat outfit. <laughs> Alright, here's her meat accessories, which I am incredibly fond of. Um, Look at those earrings. She has pearl earrings, guys. I like That's that. Hottie. And she has a pearl necklace, like, hot. Hot, hot. And the fan, like, she all fancy. 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 <laughs> But yeah, the fabulous meat outfit and the accessories, like, beautiful. Like, perfect. How were you just kissing? I, I was just, just the... What was that? You said... Like, that, it's that chef's kiss. How do you even make that noise? <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. So, the first thing that we have in her collection is her holiday gown for $32. Oh my god, she this looks like is Marie Antoinette. Hot. This is hot. Hot, hot. Marie Antoine's chic. Guys, this is gorgeous. I love Marie Antoinette. Yeah, me too. I think she's she? very misunderstood. Yeah. But, like, this outfit, I love the color green on Elizabeth. I don't know why, but it works for her. Did you ever notice that cat, like, skulls, if you, like, pull back their ears, they kind of look like a snake? Yeah. I think she looks like Marie Antoinette, who is my idol in life. The dress is gorgeous. I would definitely get this, like, if it was still available, if... She also kind of looks like Jane Austen, who's another idol of my life. She does appearance-wise, too, I think. Ew! <laughs> it's so rude. There's only one known painting of Jane Austen, and it was done by her sister. And, like, in letters and stuff, they said that she was a really bad artist. Yeah, I could see that. But I love this dress. I would get this in a heartbeat, like, perfect. Perfect. Like, there's, I have no complaints on this. Perfect. The next thing is Elizabeth's quilted coat. <laughs> Elizabeth's quilted cloak that for $24. And this goes over her um, holiday gown. I love perfect. it. I love it. She has to look a little scary because she did side with the British people. Exactly. So she kind of has to look like a villain a little bit. This color and, is... And I, she does. I, oh my god. Okay, I, I love this. Okay, you, so, Wait, you said you love this? <laughs> <laughs> Not the hat. She looks like wait, Martha sh Washington. Sh shut up. I, that's the point, girl. Girl, like why do you want to look this like that? This was though? Martha Washington. She, she stood... She stood where Martha Washington stood. I know, stood. but she's... 10. This is and Martha a, Washington was how old? This is $32 and it's Elizabeth's tea lesson gown. No. Now, everyone knows the iconic tea lesson in the movie and the books. I will not flip my cup or I will not have I no tea. I shall have no tea. Yeah. Oh. Well, that's not her. That's Felicity. But Anyways, she looks like Martha Washington geez. and not in a good way. Uh, yeah, this this makes her look very fat. Um but I could see that it is a uh, it makes sense with the time. No. I like the coloring. Imagine it without the hat. Oh my hat. god, do you remember? Imagine it without the hat for a minute. Do you remember? Just like, yeah. take off the top half real quick. It's still bad. It's better though. Do you remember that one summer when like literally every day we went to that big thrift shop? I mean, antique store that was on our street. 
basically, mm-hmm. and they had those, like, egg holder sets, <laughs> and one of them had a painted portrait of George Washington, and the other one had looked like Martha Washington. Mm-hmm. That's what that looks like. Um, yeah, I guess it makes sense to the time. I, I just prefer it. That was a it, weird I, summer. I prefer it without that bonnet, to be honest. It's a little no, much. No, I don't I don't know. It. I like the coloring, though. Um, of course you would. So, next is Elizabeth's writing outfit for $28. Oh Guys, this God. is adorable. I love this. I want this. I will marry. I will kill anyone no, to get this. Call, not that far. I will accept this. I will take this. <laughs> I will want this. I want this very badly. This is one of the most beautiful pieces in American Girls. I'll knit a pair of socks for you if you have this. Yeah. And you give please, it to us. Please. Please. Call this n- number on your screen. No, oh my god. <laughs> like, like, they do so, like, numbers or weird? <laughs> Don't need your number. <laughs> Lo and behold, guys, one of my favorite pieces from American Girl in existence of all time. Elizabeth's summer outfit for $28. Beauty How is this only $28, too? Yeah. Like, on American Girl, I would think this would be, like, 40 or something Adorable. stupid. This is perfection. There is, like... I dreamed of owning a hat like that. I want this. I want... The color is perfect. I, I love the way they picked the green it's for like her. The Princess gr- Tiana, but a couple centuries earlier <laughs> but like i love the color scheme that they picked for her with all these greens it looks they she looks good in green like i like this i like this a lot this is per- i like that girl i like that boy he's very nice <laughs> that good luck charlie episode i don't know why that like resonated with us for like our whole life i like that boy he's very nice where is it it's at my friend josh's house you know josh right I like that boy. He's very nice. I like that dress. It's very nice. That was like such a minor thing. <laughs> that, that and that moment in Camp Rock when uh, her, what's that girl's name? Who? Caitlin? The DJ. Yeah, Caitlin. When Caitlin does her little jam at the pajama jam, p- pajama or whatever it's called. Pajama? <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, the pajama the jam. Jams. Yeah, yeah. The jammy jam. <laughs> the pajama jam jam. Yeah, but, um, and then... She plays her thing and like she's just going and it cuts to Mitchie and Mitchie goes, She's really good. Kylie, everyone knows about that. There's that's all over the internet. Well, that part resonated with me deeply even before the internet. There's like a chord and then Oh, it's like a it's a snake! It's a snake! No, not that part, right? With all like the little groovy moves that they do with yeah. their little body, <laughs> like when they go past the lunch lady, like mother, she's like, "Why did I waste my entire like savings account for this?" And there's like these, the people doing like the worm so against the car and rubbing their body all over. Why did I take this contract to no. feed all these weird hippie kids? No, I'm talking about the, in the second one when with the way that he says it, like the enthusiasm he had, with the way that he said it when the graham crackers came for the, when they got all the ingredients to make s'mores, they're like, it's marshmallows. And so then he goes, go Graham crackers. Graham crackers. It's go Graham crackers. Ha <laughs> ha loser. Now we have Elizabeth's night shift for $24. I think you mean Martha Washington's night shift. This looks this looks like the like night before Christmas book. Oh, I, I memorized that book. Yeah, but doesn't I like this. this and is, Law and her kerchief. Like all the I like how she has a nightgown. I don't nightgowns. We love to see it. Hashtag team nightgown. Um this is really cute. Yeah, it's cute. You, but it's, it's accurate. Like Martha Washington sheet. It's supposed to be. Paige, Martha Washington was an old fart nugget, and she was young and hip and fresh. But she's dead now. R.I.P. Well, both Martha, Martha and Elizabeth. If Elizabeth wasn't a doll. Um. Then we have Elizabeth's fashion doll for eighteen dollars. Another doll with. They always did that. They gave like the dolls to everyone. And everyone got a doll. It was like doll after doll. Um. Once again, I don't think it should be $18 for this thing. Yeah, like, not feeling this doll. I've seen cuter 
uh, definitely, doll dolls. definitely not the mini American Girls, but that that's for another day. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I forgot about that. We have great plans for that. We have some stuff up our we sleeve. Got some, you have some tricks up your sleeve. Have Elizabeth's bed and bedding for twenty. For, oh wait, for for forty two dollars. And this this is actually meant to uh, be paired with the bed from Felicity's oh, I hate bed. When they do that, yeah. No, this was the only time they did it. No, it's they just not. switch out their blankets. Yeah, oh, I don't like that. But it's cute. I prefer hers over Felicity's. Make your own bed. I mean, I wish the best friends had their own beds. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah. But, because I, I prefer this set, but, like, I guess... You're telling me you're going to pay $42 for a... Yeah, I wouldn't pay for a blanket, no. Definitely what the not. What the heck? What is wrong? What? <laughs> <laughs> this isn't supposed to be here. <laughs> what is she doing here? Get out. You already had your moment. You had your chance! <laughs> What I meant to do was Elizabeth's dressing oh table God. accessories for $28. So this is like, it's got a like little thing people, to put her earrings in. Like It's like people have never heard of Joanne's. Yeah, this is like just a mirror and like a piece of fabric. I love Joanne. So that is Elizabeth's collection. I know her person. Whoa. That is Elizabeth's collection. I forgot how bad they looked. <laughs> I mean, how good they look. Yeah. That is all of Elizabeth's collection, and guys, she has one of my favorite collections, just like, in the, it's just, it's perfect, it's beautiful, well, it's got some of the best things in it. To me, it gets a 9. 8.5. 8.75, okay? Okay, guys, now it's time for what is most important. <laughs> Elizabeth's story. Okay, guys, so once again, this is really confusing to try to read. The two girls meet at Miss Manderley's, where they take lessons in dancing, penmanship, stitchery, and serving tea. The girls' favorite pastime is teasing Elizabeth's annoying sister Annabelle. Well, that's not very nice. Although the politics of the American Revolution threaten to divide them, Felicity and Elizabeth TM, <laughs> trademarked of course, Me. manage to stay loyal to one another. Elizabeth is merry and faithful friend. They are growing up in Williamsburg, Virginia. Oh my god, Easter egg. That's a secret for later. We'll hold on that in our pocket. In 1775, for all you Hamilton fans, you're gonna love this story. <laughs> Elizabeth and Fiddler said to you. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth, and <laughs> Elizabeth and Felicity spend a lot of their time around Annabelle, Elizabeth's sister. I know, and you're rude. In fact, one of their favorite ways to pass the time is poking fun of Annabelle. We are <laughs> we know. Who's obsessed with getting married? That's yeah, she's a little really weird. weird. I don't like her. Never mind, I understand why. Um, one day, Elizabeth and Felicity try decide to trick Annabelle into thinking that Felicity's dad's apprentice likes her. But after Elizabeth gets in trouble for this prank, her father reveals that he has actually secured a marriage for Annabelle with a man named Lord Henry. That's sick. <laughs> That's, <okay. laughs> That's disgusting. He likes you. <laughs> That's disgusting. Um, a very shy and nervous man. Lord, wait, is Elizabeth younger? Annabelle's her older sister. Oh, Annabelle's older. Okay, that makes me feel better. I thought Annabelle was like five. No, it's, and her, she was old, getting it's like her old bossy mean like, oh, I'm gonna be married. Got you. I thought she was like five and she was marrying Lord Henry and I got concerned. Um, that was very worrisome. I'm sorry for that. Um, a very shy and nervous man, Lord Henry, always has his sister speak for him. Well, he sounds, he probably has a good heart, I think. Um, from what I can tell. Meanwhile, Elizabeth's parents decide that she and Annabelle need to become proper ladies. So a woman named Miss Priscilla begins to train them and even plans to take them to England. While Annabelle is very excited about this opportunity, Elizabeth tries to get out of it every possible way she can. Will Elizabeth end up in England? Will her mischief-making ways lead her to trouble? Or will she use her wit to plot a way to stay in Williamsburg with Felicity? Read Very Funny Elizabeth to find out. Elizabeth and her family are originally from Lancashire. <laughs> 
England. The Coles arrive to the American colonies early in the series, sometime before the events of Felicity Learns a Lesson. In the books, Elizabeth is shown to be a slightly wealthier than Felicity, having a larger home and a larger garden. Felicity. She's a bigger garden. <laughs> Felicity is in the middle class, that pathetic peasant. <laughs> <clears throat> it's not COVID. Elizabeth is referred to as quiet, shy, smart, and careful. Elizabeth is rather petite. No, she's not. She's 18 inches, just like the rest of everyone else. <laughs> Which earned her the name Bitsy. <laughs> that's rude. Honestly, that's rude. From her older sister, this was a nickname she didn't like. I wouldn't either. And at the end of Felicity Learns a Lesson, she makes this known. She is much more practical than Felicity. She's also thoughtfully plans things out rather than jumping into fanciful dreams. Unlike Felicity, Elizabeth has a knack for sewing as she is more patient and loves fancy balls and dancing. Together, she and Felicity are called the merriest girls in Virginia by Felicity's father. Elizabeth's family are loyalists and she often finds it hard to place to find her place among the colonies, though she believes in some independent notions that the colonies promote as specified in Very Funny Elizabeth. Her family believes in the independence for the colonies, but the family oh wait. Felicity's family believes in independence for the colonies, but the family of Elizabeth, Felicity's best friend, believes in loyalty to the king. Amen. Um, everything would be so different. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, maybe. Um, suddenly Elizabeth's father is jailed for being a loyalist. Will Felicity and Elizabeth's friendship survive the many changes that the both girls face? That's about it. Oh, yeah, and there's, like, the horse. Something about Christmas, something about a horse. Yeah, there's the horse and you all of that. that. And they go to a, um, uh, a ball. she's invited to the governor's palace ball with Felicity, and okay. Penny is having the baby we horse. We know, we know, we know. Okay, we know all that. Um, they've got a great friendship. That's one thing to note. And I remember just watching this book, I mean, watching this movie, <laughs> and I, I did read her books. <laughs> Felicity's books, and I always admired Elizabeth and just them. I liked their stories. Um, I like their friendship, but, like, also I think that there's less of a focus on their friendship and more of a focus on the things that don't work in their friendship. Yeah, but they're- But, s like, also they, like, learn to love and to live. Exactly. And, but, like, like the, It's all, like their family, it's like a- Yeah. It's like a forbidden it's like love. Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, it's like a Romeo a way, and Juliet moment. Um, but it's also, like, I wish, like, they could spend time with each other, not about a horse, not about Annabelle, what about them, you know? Yeah, Felicity's stories are one of my favorites of all of American Girl, and I- They're very, like, I- I just- I- I just love those. In the movie- and Elizabeth uh, is a part of that. It wouldn't be the story without Elizabeth. And she, on a scale of 10 for her friendliness, for her, well, it's not about her friendliness, just overall with all of this. No, it's her friendship score. Yeah. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, I think she is... 8. An 8 friend. Yeah. Now, when you actually do the math, you get a different number, but as we've come to terms with this fine episode, I don't believe in numbers. I don't need your numbers. So the number that I give her is an 8. Yeah, so she was very close to an 8 when you averaged it out, so we're just going to be giving her an 8. So, yeah, I mean, stay tuned to see who really is the best friend. You already forgot a little Nellie's score, I'm sure, so you yeah. don't you don't know yet. I already forgot it. Make sure you don't remember it. Forget it until so you can see. It's a surprise. Bye. Smell you later. <laughs> I'll see you on the